Hey everybody, Emerald Dead here, and today we're gonna do the review over the Hornhead Predator. Okay, mine is missing a shoulder pad, but that's not a problem because I had my son had one and I got one. Okay, pretty awesome packaging. Went back to the uh, their old packaging, which is cool. Gives a little backstory about how he used to battle Ahab. There's the other three. Well, the other two. There's the whole set, though, for the wave. And he looks pretty cool. Well, let's open this dude up and see how uh, how cool he actually is. All right, so the figure has all right, a top tray and a bottom tray. Bottom tray, he's got his four wrist blades and his sword. Very cool. And we'll take his wrist blades out. Here's his biomask, and that's the inside of it. And let's take, we'll take this Stalker Predator, just see if this, I wanna see how the helmet fits on the others. Hmm, fits pretty good. A little bit of tweaking can be done with it. All right, he's held in here by one tie. All right, you pull the tie. Holes for the hand placement and legs, so he will be stuck in there. And here he is. So, first thing we'll do is we'll tight fit, not bad. Articulations on him is standard to the uh, ultimate style body. You see the speckles on his feet there, that's pretty nice. Hands, there are pegged hands. You can see the hinge on the inside. Oh wow, I'm missing more than I thought. Look at that. Missing the whole top of his uh, arm. Didn't even notice that. Holy cow. Isn't that something? And it is not in the box either. All right. Well, here's what it's supposed to look like. He is just completely different. All right. This is how his wrist plate will sit in. Awesome. Regardless of that, this figure's having a couple QC, uh, QC issues, I wouldn't worry about it. All right. Again, he's got the old style body as well. You can see that the upper body has a swivel. It does not have the fugitive uh, predator style body. Still got pretty good movement. Armor, his back. He's got the rubber uh, rubber butt flap there. Oh wow. And it appears that mine actually has his hair glued. Now, I'm comparing all this off of my son's. He has one upstairs and his was 
not even close to, to this one. All right, but I guess that's some stuff for you guys to look for and to point out. Leg wraps, double jointed knees. The whole um, lower leg, this is a whole different mold. So if you guys are customizing, make sure that is a whole nother leg that'll have to be uh, casted and molded. The feet are awesome. The feet are really cool. They, look, they feel like they're just like thicker for some reason. I don't know. See a little bit of play up there on the in the abdominal area, but all right, let's. All right. There's some uh, some basics for you. Right. Helmet does fit on, fits on pretty snug, actually. You guys can see roll up there underneath the jaw. His face is sick though. Looks real cool. All the extra spikes on his head. It, awesome figure. No matter what, even with the QC issues that it, that he came with, um, figure's awesome. In fact, he seems a little bit loose at the waist. Hmm. As you can see, he's just a little bit loose at the waist. And it's not the peg that's on the inside. It seems like if he's not like sitting on the ball joint itself, because there's a ball joint on the inside of the body. And it's not really sitting there, but yeah, I don't, I'm not too worried about that. But this is the Hornhead Predator. I wish he was in better condition, but I guess again, you can see some of the QC issues that will happen here with the shoulder pad, uh, the, wrist, the wrist blade's not put on all the way. Um, but like I said, that don't, that don't bother me none. I'll, uh, I'll take care of that. He's really, he's really a decent figure. So, armor, the wrist blades are nice. Again, he's got some really cool stuff for customizers, again, to be able to really mess with and to have more for our arsenals and our weaponry, you know what I mean? The pegged hands are always a good one to have. Give us a new face sculpt. Can't go wrong, all right? Even with the QC issues, it's frustrating, but can't go wrong, all right? And that is the Hornhead Predator. All right. Again, make sure you guys have said, when you get them in the package, pay attention to the waist, pay attention to the armor, wrist blades. You're not gonna really get a loose one. Um, another spot that you can really pay close attention to is is right here the strap may come out all right but the eyes are good he's got good eyes overall nice figure he's awesome he's gonna look good on the he's gonna look good on the shelf but all right you guys this is the hornhead predator review uh like comment subscribe i'll keep them coming and got a pretty good amount of followers right now so like i said you guys want something you guys see something you have any ideas you know shoot me a comment all right all right this is emerald ed see you later